Howdy folks, we are back in the garage today for an exciting episode of Tiger Tales. This is episode number five. Um, yeah, it's been a couple months since we had a Tiger Tales episode, so I had a pretty darn good battle in the Tiger on Oasis Facebook map, so I thought I would share that with you today. And why don't we get into that right now? Let's get this show on the road indeed. All right. We're on Oasis Facepalm map. We're in the northeast corner and we're going to start heading west across the north side of this map and move down along and try and work our way around to their spawn point. Uh, just basically trying to get around and flank them. And I see nobody is coming with us. That is uh, a little disconcerting. You don't know, like to be a heavy out in the middle of nowhere all by yourself, but, uh, well, too bad. I'm not going back. <laughs> Nothing on the menu. Oh, scope too soon. Here, what do we got here? Cromwell. Wow, they're fast, eh? Already he's down here. Let's see, is he coming for us? Are we going to get shots? No, nope, he's going the other way. He's looking for the rest of my team. Good luck. I don't think you're going to be... Oh, we're taking hits. What's happening here? We've been spotted. Oh, bounce one that time. Oh, take more damaging hit. I'm not sure exactly where that's coming from. I don't think it's coming from their spawn base over there, but it might be. After being spotted by the Cromwell, I suppose, yes, they could be seeing me from there. Must be more than one that's firing pretty fast. Okay. If it's not coming from their base, I'm just going to hold on here and wait just a few seconds, because if they're hot and bothered about it, they'll come over the hill here and try to get me. So, I'm going to wait for them, <laughs> instead of driving their guns. And yet, I don't know, that's just been too long. I think they would have been here by now. Well, let's keep cruising. Haven't taken any damage. Haven't been spotted. Maybe we're good to go for a bit here. Let's go up this dune and in between. And then we'll carry on heading east. Oh, nope, spotted now, but we're evidently out of the line of sight. Anyone who could be shooting at us, which is a lucky deal. Okay. By the time we get around this dune, we'll have broken uh, contact, basically. We'll be ripe for being spotted again. <laughs> Let's have a look here. All right, we look down into their spawn point. There's usually a TD. They do have another team, and they often hang out there. Crusader there. Mediums are all over the middle of the map. Oh, yep, look at this. SU-100Y. Now, it could have been him who was bopping me before, but... Let's take a shot. Put a good one in him. He's still sitting there. Will he be there for my next shot? Yes, I believe so. Alright. Let's try for the third. Nope, he's backing out. Okay, we're going to get him. There's another good one. He doesn't know. Okay, I'm spotted. What's he going to do? He's going to try and turn towards. And he's taking a big hit. Keep shooting in the engine deck. Oh, Alright, got him dead middle. Thank you very much. Now, what are we going to do? They have no more TDs. Not likely there's be anyone waiting over there. We have your, oh, there's three of them right there. Oh, bouncing off the back of the T20. It is a long way away from here. Shot. Ooh. <laughs> Gotta love this 88 millimeter for sniping. What a gun. We got going up here. Comet. Yes. Dirty comets. Okay. Now they've got two mediums. We've got four tanks left. They've got three. I'm not sure where their Cromwell went. Okay, I missed that guy. Yeah, there it is. Okay. And a bouncing point. Point. Put one in them. Good shot. Get one more here, maybe. He's pretty damaged. Oh, we take his track. Very nice. And look at that. I'm the only guy left. They've killed all three. Okay, I got him. Now it's me against two, a medium, and a light. Where do you suppose they are? Well, let's keep moving across here. I thought I saw one headed this way on the other side of the river, but we'll see what happens. Okay. Nope, nothing yet. Nothing yet. Oh, they're in the base. They're in the base. Okay. Don't know if that's both or just one. One for sure. Oh, Cromwell outside of the flag base. Okay, so let's get him. Boom! Oh, we take one and we give one. Can't out-reload a Cromwell. 
He's not shooting at Katie Allen. He bounces next shot. He's just sitting there. There's a Cromwell. He bounces shot from the other guy. Goodbye, Cromwell. There we go. Last to go was a Crusader. Now this should be interesting. The Crusader's definitely got the mobility edge on me. So I'll we'll have to get over there and see. Oh, yeah, once more. You bet, buddy. I'm going to do my best. <laughs> okay. Using camouflage, anyone can win. Oh, well, yeah. Using camouflage, I suppose. Who's using camo? Um, any bush hiders? Nope. Can I get him? Can I get him? Can I get him? Nope. Not if you're going to aim and shoot like that, Mr. Jass. You will not be killing anybody. Yeah, you can see this guy. We could go around and around this lump all day long. I'll never catch him. He could stay in front of me the whole time. Hopefully. See, he's not going to be able to... He can't win if I'm in the circle. He could only draw, which is a lose for both. And since I can't really do much about him, I'm just going to try and wiggle here and try and psych him out a bit with some movement. Maybe he won't... Maybe he's tunneling somewhere else. He won't be noticing my movement. Maybe he's not watching his fingers on his screen. Happens to me, believe me. <laughs> okay. No, he's well aware of what I'm doing. Yeah, too funny. No kidding. Stinks, though. Well, I think we're just going to... What's he going to do? Oh, looked like he was going to come up onto the hill. That's an idea I should might do here. Nope, he's moving. He's moving. He's way out of here now. He might be too far around the corner. Yeah, he'd try back up. Oh, yes, and if you're shooting like that again, Mr. Jazz, you deserve to lose. Oh, we bounced one. That was good. Oh, we take him out. Well, there we go. Not for lack of missing shots, but we still got the job done. Let's go look at some statistics. Now, on our first stat screen here, you can see we've got a third class master badge, a Top Gun Award, a Radley Walters Medal, and a Colabanos Medal. Very nice. Well, we'll have a look at those in just a moment, but without a premium account, we received 848 experience points and 26,186 credits. Mastery badges are awarded for mastering and controlling an armored vehicle, and to qualify for a third class mastery badge like this one here, a player must earn more experience in battle than the average highest experience of 50% of players who have fought in this vehicle for the previous seven days. Top Gun Award is awarded for destroying more enemy vehicles, at least four of them, than any other player in the match. The Radley Walters Medal is awarded for destroying five enemy vehicles in one battle. Now, sadly, Sidney Volpe Radley Walters, who was a Canadian tank ace in World War II, he just died last week, I believe, or some pretty close, something like that. That's too bad. It's, uh, you know, these guys, there's not very many of them left around, but uh, it's always sad when, you know, one more uh, passes on. Call of Battle House Medal is awarded when you stand alone against three enemy vehicles and win. Now, the team stats table reveals that we are firmly in first place for this battle with 2,005 damage dealt out, 5 uh, kills, and 848 experience points received, plus the four awards that we saw earlier. Um, on the other team, their top dude was a uh, guy in the Comet, 1,534 damage dealt. Now, under the statistics tab of the battle results, we can see we fired 19 shots, 15 of those were direct hits, and 14 did penetrate and damage our enemies. We damaged 5 and destroyed those same 5 people. Right on. Damage caused 2,005 points. Damage caused with our assistance a further 152 points. Very nice. We received 8 hits, 3 of those did penetrate and damage, and 5 just bounced off us with no effect. And the credits tab reveals that we have a 26,186 credit gross while spending 3122 to repair our vehicle and a further 4788 for ammunition. Our consumables this round cost us 5600 credits, leaving us with a healthy net of 12,676 credits. And last but not least, the XP tab. Now, without a premium account, we received 848 base experience points and our good old stack em up, saving for later free XP buddy, 42 points. Well, folks, there we have it. Another episode of Tiger Tales on the books. That was episode 5. Um, yeah, pretty good battle. Uh, you gotta love that fun. That the Cromwell guy who was in there near the end, he was not using his the best assets of his tank. He could have been uh, charging around trying to get me while his light tank buddy was uh, in the cap and trying to, you know, he could have been sniping me while this guy was tying me up, trying to drive around, get shots into me. It would have wasted a lot of time. They might have been more successful possibly in winning the match. 
Um, but, I don't know, that's just me. I, I tank like the Cromwell. It, there's no way in hell it's going to bounce a shot from from the 88 on this thing and mo from most angles. Um, you got to use its other advantages, its speed, maneuverability. It does have a decent gun. So if you can uh, drive around me and stay out of the uh, way of my gun, why wouldn't you not try? I think I would have tried. You can't just sit around in a tank like that one. But hey, each to their own and it's all groovy. So, folks, if you like this video, please consider hitting the thumbs up underneath. And if you really like our videos, why not subscribe? You'll get a notice every time we put a new video out. And that way you don't miss out on the new content. All right, folks, thanks very much for coming by and watching. I'll catch you next time.